you see what your boy's working with. I got the Char Griller Legacy fired up. We sitting at, let me look at that. We sitting at a good solid 250 rolling on that Kingsford charcoal. All right, and to that, I'm gonna throw some of this on there. Saw this at the old Home Depot. Kingsford Premium Blend, Apple, Hickory, and Oak. So I'm gonna throw a good sprinkle of this on there and uh, let's get this loaded. So yeah, we didn't let her sweat it for about 30 minutes. You see, I got that meat stick X in there. That's gonna keep me on point with my temp since this is my first ever tomahawk that I'm cooking. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go indirect for a minute, okay? We're gonna go indirect. I don't know. I don't know. Rail kind of came off, but it definitely penetrated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm going to put this on here like that. Okay. Just like that there. Hold on. Let me zoom you in. Just like that there. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be adding some of these chunks up in here. Some of these right here. That case for premium blend. And uh, I finally figured out how to use this correctly. Uh, one cook, I don't know if anybody noticed, I left this bad boy on here and uh, forgot and grabbed it. And boy, was my hand red. So we got a good little handful of some of this right here. I'm not going to soak them. I'm going to throw them in there a little dry. Just like that there. And I want to see what this do. I never tried this. Uh, to be honest, this is my first time using anything with oak. So I got my Mi Stick X, got the app set up. So there's no way I could do this wrong. So we're going to shut this and uh, I'll be back. You know, I'm going to flip it. And, uh, you know, I'm real excited. This is a real exciting cook for me. So uh, we're going to get it going. Back in a minute. So I'm not going to check it too much open it up and coming back and forth i'm gonna go ahead and let this meat stick app do its thing because it is working pretty phenomenal for me right now uh my last couple of cooks it was spot on so uh, i'm gonna let it do its thing and uh, i'll be back when i'm searing this baby up the boy's first tomahawk i'm very excited as you can see all right so the meat stick x app <clears throat> Excuse me. Just let me know I'm at a good 140. So now it's time to get our sear on. And uh, I like my steak medium well. So we ready. Let this bad boy rest for about 20 minutes. And uh, this is my first ever tomahawk. And um, taste it. I seasoned this bad boy with a mixture of Drunken Chef's SPG Jalapeno. Get this at drunkenchefrubs.com. And there go that frog in my throat again. Hold on. All right, so I got rid of Kermit. I took uh, a third of a cup of this and I mixed it with a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar. If you got dark brown sugar, that'll work too. Um, this is what I had left because I want to use it on something else. So, Meat Stick X did me justice. I'm going to take this out. It must really like it. They don't want to leave the meat. Be sure to wash that off. Be sure to wash off your thermometers. Um, you know what? I got to get a paper towel in there so it don't spin. 
All right, so I got a wet napkin under there so it don't be spinning. I'll take this off. That bone didn't get all big and nasty. I mean, burnt. I'll be honest, that's a little, little bit too red for me. Um, you know, but I'm trying to step up outside of my comfort zone and uh, really to see what's the big talk about uh, bloody ass meat that might offend somebody. Some people might jump on and be like, it's myoglobin. Uh, you're right, but I know you're not ordering a steak, asking the cook in the back if they got some extra myoglobin left over, uh, so you can dip it on the side. So, um, that, you know, a little back piece right there, that's way out of my comfort zone, but I'm going to bite it. Off camera, so you don't see my reaction. Mm. Now, well, you're supposed to cut this off. The spinalis. I think I said that right. That's like a real tender part of the steak. You know, that, that's way out of my comfort zone. <laughs> but, as you can see, I didn't said that about three or four times, and I kept eating it. Let me give me a little leverage here. Um, you know, clocked in it. I didn't, you know what I didn't do? I didn't check it again with my little quick temp read. Um, I didn't feel I needed to. I felt the meat stick X was on point. But, you know, I'll be honest. I mean, that's cutting through like butter. I'm just trying not to go through the foil, which is impossible. But other than that, you know, this is pretty good. I'm going to finish cutting this up and get it pretty on the plate with some of this compound butter my son made. But yeah. All right. Be back. So I got a few pieces of the steak here. With some of this compound butter that my son Tyrell made. What's in this, son? So it's a compound butter made with uh, pickled garlic, parsley, lime zest, and a smidgen of uh, Himalayan pink salt with white peppers. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take a little bit of this and we're going to spread a little bit. Um, on there like that. Here you go, son. You take that because you're making me a little meat butter sandwich there. Okay, so my little mic was tripping. Uh, so I'm not using it right now, but steak with the compound butter that my son made. Mm hmm. swallow tea. Alright, so that wraps up my first ever tomahawk steak cook, cowboy steak, whatever you want to call it. It was very good. Um, I seasoned it with the Drunken Chef SPG Jalapeno. 
let that bad boy sit for like 30 minutes. I mix this with some brown sugar. I'll put the measurements in the description. And I mentioned it earlier in the video. So if you didn't catch it, I'll put it in the description. Uh, through this bad boy on my Kingsford, uh, with some Kingsford on my Charred Red Legacy. And then I sprinkle some of the Kingsford uh, Premium Blend Apple Hickory Oak Wood Chips. I like those very much. And um, use the Meat Stick X to guide me through this whole cook. It guided it, guided me a bit. <clears throat> uh, I like that Meat Stick X. It really helped me out. Um, this cook probably would have been a little bit more stressful if it wasn't for the app and easy to use. And uh, so, shout out to me, Stick X. Didn't let me down again. All right, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you know when your boy's coming out with new content. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to keep it rolling. Appreciate all the support so far. Y'all be cool, be safe, be smart. You know what time it is. And this is what we keep.